Well, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use Google's Immersive Reader and to showcase some of its features. It's a great extension to add to your Chromebook so you can read text that's available online. So our first step is going to be to you can either Google Google Immersive Reader or get it from the Chrome store and click Add to Chrome. Then we're going to add the extension. Now you can see it appears up here in the top. So I've got a soccer article. I've got a soccer article that I'm going to use to showcase its features. So in order to use it, you select some of the text that you want it to read. And then you'll see in one of the options here, it says, help me read this. So that's how I get into the extension. Now I've selected some text. I want to show you a little bit about some of the features that Immersive Reader uses. In order to listen to the text, I can click down here where it says play. Chelsea continued Europe's dominance at the FIFA Club World Cup on Saturday, claiming a first ever trophy at the annual competition. You also have some voice saying choices. If you want to speed it up, you can. Down here, you can put it at kind of a, a middle level there at one. You can also change the voice from female to male. So this is what this will sound like. Competition. Christian Pulisic became the first American player to lift the tournament trophy as Chelsea defeated Brazilian side Palmeiras 2-1 in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates on Saturday afternoon. I want to go through some of the different things you can do as far as text preferences, grammar options, and reading preferences now. So if I click up here on the right-hand side where it says text preferences, I can change the text size. You can also increase the spacing between the words, or you can decrease that. You have your choice of some different fonts. You can change the color of the background in your text. You can see there's a wide range of colors here. You also have a few different grammar options. If you wanted to break the words into syllables, you could. Or you can also mark different parts of speech. You can change the colors for those. So let's say I want to mark my nouns. I'm going to make all the nouns blue. I also want to mark all the verbs. I'm going to mark those in orange. So I'm also going to take the syllables back off here. And up under the reading preferences, there are some, some really good options too. You've got a line focus. So if I just want to look at one line of text at a time, or three, or five, it's a nice way to bite size the text that I can see. Now, there's also a picture dictionary in here. So I can click on a word, like let's say I don't know the word competition. And then I can listen to that word if I click on it. And then I can also see a picture of what a competition might look like. You can also translate the text. So if I read better in Spanish or a different language, I can find Spanish and you can go by word or you can go by documents. You can see when I went document how all of the text changed there for me into Spanish. And then it's easy to change it back as well. Let's go back to English. And there's our text. You can also minimize this toolbar over here that has these different text preferences and grammar options and reading preferences just by minimizing it. And you can reactivate them just by clicking on the different options that are up here. But thanks especially to Becca Bramwell for pointing out this really great tool called Google Immersive Reader. It's a great way to read any text that's available online. Just to note, it doesn't work on things like Google Docs and Google Slide Presentations.